It is a very cold day here in North Idaho. We've got about two feet of snow on the ground probably down here. And uh, everything's frozen, man. This is the bucket that we use for priming the pump. It's frozen solid. This right down here is the pond where we get the water to prime the pump. It's frozen. What about our shallow well? If you're new to the channel, we're building an off-grid homestead here in North Idaho. Been working on building our cabin. Very soon we're getting animals. If you want to subscribe, click that subscribe button down below. I came down here when it was warmer, pulled the pump, and when I went to put it back in, I noticed that the it had, it had filled back in. And so we've lost this much depth to our well. I guess the first thing we're wanting to find out here is if it's frozen. Drop a little piece of snow down there. Definitely not frozen. All right, that's cool. Let's go ahead and try this guy. Uh-oh, it's frozen. You don't want to force that because it's it's leather inside of there actually. Some of them are, are uh, rubber, but this one's leather inside. And so you don't want to force it. You may rip the leather, kind of ruin the seals. I got a trick I'm gonna try here to see if we can get it to start pumping. Pour a little warm water in here. Let it sit a little bit. Hopefully it'll it'll thaw. And uh, that there's like a, it's like a leather cup that slides up and down in there. And then there should be like a leather flapper valve on the bottom side too. And so, I guess you could probably use a torch I would guess, but if you did, you could melt it Right, if it was rubber, if it was like one of the ones with the rubber valve, you could melt them or burn the, the leather, harden it somehow maybe. You want it nice and soft. So it makes a good seal, otherwise it's not gonna work. All right. Ooh, ooh. That's good. Okay, we got some movement there. Go ahead and take it off. We'll pour the rest in from the bottom just to make sure we get it all good. Okay. Okay, right here's that little flapper valve I was talking about. It's like a check valve. So we just want to go ahead and make sure that it's thawed all the way. Pour some warm water on it. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. Just a really quick note here, guys. We scored a really good deal for you from My Patriot Supply. It's like $70 off a two week supply. And then there's even a better discount off of a one month supply of long-term storage food. So if you're thinking about that kind of stuff, guys, with all the, the health concerns that are going on right now in the world, I know a lot of people are thinking about that. And so that's one of the things we're thinking about. We scored a really good deal for you. If you're looking for long-term storage food, there's a link down in the description below where you can get a special discount for our viewers. Uh, since we've come this far, let's go ahead and pull the pipe out. It's stuck in the silt. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and put this guy back on really quick. Then we'll try to pull it with the, get a better grab on it. Okay. Is it coming out? <laughs> and that thing is in there. Slowly but surely. <sighs> if you didn't see the video of testing this thing, oh man. There's so much, it's like clay down there. So. Got it. So right there is actually where it sits on top of the clay in there now. All right, so this is our foot valve. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that guy off. Uh, 
Look at that. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get this out here. There it goes. Look at that. It's like poo coming out of there. That's great. After trying to pump it for an extended period of time, there's actually, I don't know if you can see in there. Can you see it? You probably can't see it. But there's a bunch of ice all right in this section right here, making it impossible to get water up that thing. The water in the well's not frozen. The head, I mean, it was frozen, but it thawed really easy. Uh, we're gonna have to revisit this thing in the spring and see if we cannot develop this well better so that we can use it up at our off-grid cabin. If you wanna know more about what's going on here on our homestead, there's a video right over here you can go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.